Reminence, what is your opinion of altar girls? I think it was a mistake that they were introduced at all. But now that they have been introduced, I don't have the power to change it. Nevertheless, it is important for priests and families to note that traditionally in the church, the altar boys have received very great attention because from them have come most of our seminarians. Because the altar boys are near the priest, so God gives them in that way grace. If the priest is doing well, they will like to be like him. So it is just natural. The Italians call the altar boys chiericeti, small clerics. Then from that, they go to seminary. In my own country, from the cathedral at Onicha, the parish priest of cathedral sends to the junior seminary at least 20 or 30 boys every year, all of them altar boys. Mm -hmm. Since women are not ordained priests, if a girl is wearing the same thing around the altar, what next? You, you can't make her a priest. Are you going to frustrate her? Moreover, the church never obliges any bishop or priest to have girls as servers. You, if you look at our document, Redemption in Sacramento, paragraph 47, you see how we put it. We said there, traditionally, boys serve mass, and it is they who supply us our clerics. Please, give them maximum attention. Sometimes uh, women and girls can also be permitted according to church law, if the bishop thinks so. That shows you our mind. Yes. Nevertheless, it is not divine law that girls will not serve mass. So the church has allowed it. So we go along with it. But if I had my way, you know what would happen. 